360 degree compass using clockwise or anti-clockwise. What is it? A device that shows the cardinal directions used for navigation and geographic orientation. Why? Helps in finding your way while hiking or when you get lost. Interesting fact. Stingrays mainly feed on mollusks, crustaceans such as crabs, clams, oysters, sea snails, and small fish. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the steps. Step one, clockwise goes to the right. Step two, anti-clockwise goes to the left. So before we go ahead and take a look at the examples, let's go ahead and put our mouse or finger on it on the starting point, which is zero degrees. As you may see, that that is also 360 degrees there. And that's because that is a complete circle. And a complete circle is 360 degrees. So that in this case, the starting point and the end point are at the same location. Okay, and also if you go throughout the 360 degree compass and you add the two numbers together, all of them will be 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and read the first question, question or example. What letter is at anti-clockwise 120 degrees? So we're going anti-clockwise, we're going to the left, and we're going to use the inner numbers. Let's go ahead and start counting up. So we're at 0, 10, 20, 30, and so forth, and so on, until we get to 90, 100, 110, and 120. And this means letter R is our answer. Let's go ahead and move our mouse to the starting point, which is 0 degrees. And let's go ahead and read the first or next example. What letter is at clockwise 100 degrees? So we're going clockwise, going to the right, which means we need to use the outer numbers. So let's go ahead and start counting up. 0, 10, 20, 30, and so forth, and so on until we get to 90. And next we get to 100 degrees, which means our answer is letter H. Okay, let's go ahead and move our uh, mouse or cursor to the uh, starting point. Let's read the next question, which is what letter is at clockwise 285 degrees? So in this case, we're going, going clockwise, which means we're going to the right, which means we're using the outer numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and start counting up. 0, 10, 20, 30, and so forth, and so on until we get to 90, 100, 110, 120, and so forth, and so on until we get to 180. And remember, we're still using the outer numbers, so 190, 200, 210, and so forth, and so on until we get to 270, 280, and finally 285, which is halfway between 280 and 290. So our answer is the letter U. Okay, let's go ahead and put our mouse back at the starting point. Let's go ahead and read the next example. What letter is at anti-clockwise 220 degrees, which means we're going to the left, which means we need to use the inner numbers. So let's go ahead and start counting up. So 0, 10, 20, 30, and so forth, and so on, until we get to 90, 100, 110, 120, and so forth, and so on, until we get to 180. And remember, we're using the inner numbers, so it's 190, 200, 210 and finally 220 which means our answer is the letter K. Okay let's go ahead and talk about different questions that you may see with the 360 degree compass. So let's go ahead and read the, uh, the question which is what is the angle between 0 degrees and K? Now how do we know if we're going clockwise or anti-clockwise? Well they'll tell you and luckily for us we have it here and we're going clockwise. So let's go for example one and example two. Let's move our mouse or cursor to the starting point which is zero degrees. Now if you feel confident um, enough, you can just go straight to K and if you know if it's the inner numbers or outer numbers, then you are golden, you know, then, uh, then you don't have to count up. But just in case, we're gonna show you how to do it, counting up, and so we can get the correct answer no matter what. So we're going clockwise, which means we're going to the right, which means we're going to use the, inner, the outer numbers. So let's go ahead and start counting. 0, 10, 20, 30, and so forth, and so on, until we get to 90, 100, uh, 110, 120, 130, and finally 140 degrees, which, and, and we reach letter K. So our answer is going to be 
140 degrees. Let's go ahead, put our mouse back at the starting point, and let's move on to the next example. What is the angle between zero degrees and M? Okay, so some of you may feel confident enough to go straight to M, and if you don't, go ahead and start counting, no big deal. So let's go ahead and start counting. Since we're going clockwise, we're going to the right, start counting up. Zero, 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40, and so forth, and so on, until we get to 90, 100, 110, and so forth, and so on. Then we finally get to 150 degrees, 160 degrees. Oh, now we've reached M. Okay, so we're using the outer numbers, so we need to find what's halfway between 160 and 170, which in this case is going to be 165 degrees. Okay, let's go ahead and put our mouse back at the starting point, and we're going to take a look at example three, which is what is the angle between zero degrees and M? And then how do we know if we're going clockwise or anti-clockwise? It tells us right above it, it says going anti-clockwise, for example, three and four. Since we're going anti-clockwise, we're going to the left, which means we need to use the inner numbers, and we need to find M. So zero, 10, 20, and so forth, and so on. So 90, 100, 110, 120, so forth, and so on, until we get 180. Now remember, we're using the inner numbers, so 190, 200, oh, we passed it. No big deal, so that means we're halfway in between 190 and 200, which means we are at 195 degrees. Now if you notice, I talked about at the beginning, where if you add the two numbers together at the same location, you'll get 360 degrees. So if you add 165 plus 195, you will get that. So let's go ahead, move our mouse back to the starting point, Let's read, uh, let's read the next example. What is the angle between zero degrees and S? Okay, so we're going anti-clockwise, and now we just gotta count up. Zero, 10, 20, 30, and so forth, and so on, until we get 90, and then 100, and halfway between 100 and 110 is going to be 105 degrees. And there we go. Okay, now it is your turn so go ahead and pause the video so you can answer these questions at your own pace and i will show you answers in three two and one there you have it if you got those correct well done if you didn't there is always tomorrow